Hello, this is the Lord's Legion, and welcome to a brand new show, Cancerous Comment Conduct. Because, you know, it is a real original idea. But for those who don't know, this is going to be a show in which I go and look at the comments from some of my videos and just pretty much respond to them in video form. And I'm only testing the waters on this one, and if enough people really enjoy this, then I'll make it into an all-round series. And the video in question will be the 10 DC characters who could take down the Hulk, as well as its follow-up video. Because some of these comments are so bad that they are actually cancerous. So without further ado, let's begin. Now this first comment just assumes that I'm talking about Will Breaker Hulk and that he would wipe the floor with pretty much everyone, but I did state many times that this is not Will Breaker Hulk. And I'm sick of addressing this, so let's move on. Hulk also gets stronger with rage. Now, I honestly don't see what he was trying to say with this comment. But then someone responded that a Red Lantern could absorb rage, which would lead to a victory for the Red Lanterns, and that I completely agree with. Now this next comment is so weird I actually liked it, and that is, yeah, no on the Martian Manhunter telepathy. I think he was meant to disagree on Martian Manhunter's telepathy, but it was so weirdly phrased, I just have to put it on here. Flash can go back in time and stop Banner from being exposed from the Gamma Bomb. And yes, although that's true, and although I should have put Flash on the list originally, using time travel as an excuse to win against the Hulk is just a huge cop-out. Where's Lobo? Now, I think I said this in the follow-up video, but although it's a pretty interesting matchup, I still can't see Lobo coming out on top against the Hulk. But I could be wrong on that one, so please prove me wrong in the comments down below, and please be civil. Lol, this list is funny. World Breaker Hulk would destroy all these guys, never mind Heart of the Monster Hulk. Now, I would respond to this comment, but my man Daniel has responded to this better than I can, so moving on. Now this next comment is really strange as he mentioned that the Flash could face with the Hulk killing him, which I agree with, but what's even weirder is the responses. Because these replies eventually become irrelevant and decide to talk about who would win between the Flash and Goku. But these replies are so long, so I'm gonna move on. Solomon Grundy. I mean, I think he's meant to ask whether Solomon Grundy would win against the Hulk, but again, I think it'll be a decent matchup, but I don't see him on top against the Hulk. But again, I could be wrong, so please prove me wrong in the comments down below, and just as long as you're not brain dead, then by all means. Now this comment is just by far the best, and I have so much respect for this guy. And even when someone else commented that Batman could still beat the Hulk, my man decided to recycle one of my lines in the best way possible. Fix Smoker, you have my subscription. My G. Now I honestly thought that this comment was a complete troll as he spelled Batman wrong and then said that he would win with prep time because Tony Stark made a machine that could take away Hulk's gamma radiation. And because of how retarded this comment really is and how it's hit my brain, I can't be ass trying to see where it's coming from. Now this comment is essentially saying that because Doomsday was killed by Superman that everyone decides to put Hulk against Doomsday and people would think that Doomsday would beat the Hulk, when in reality he thinks that the Hulk would stomp Doomsday and... I'm sorry but you're just fucking wrong. Just look up at the facts. Again, another retarded World Breaker Hulk comment, but this time saying that the gamma radiation would destroy Doomsday. However, someone said that that would not happen and that Doomsday would adapt, and that I completely agree with. And then the same guy said that World Breaker Hulk would destroy Wonder Woman, Black Adam and Shazam, which I disagree with because them three characters have came across much worse enemies. Dude, what the fuck? Batman belongs in any list! So by your logic, does that mean that if you have the 10 characters who could beat someone like Dr. Manhattan, Batman would be on there? Because if anything, Batman would die within a second. And I'm sorry, but Batman would die from the Hulk within a few seconds. Watching this video was pointless, cause I already knew who could beat Hulk. Just put my response right here in the comment section. Yeah, 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 that's good. 
no one is stronger than the Hulk because Marvel gave him the title strongest one there is. Characters like Thor, Silver Surfer, Apocalypse, Thanos, Galactus, Beyonder, Iron Man, Spider-Man and many other characters have beaten the Hulk in the past. Not only that, the title is pointless because it's pretty much the same thing as put an unstoppable juggernaut. This list is shit as fuck, barely anyone in here can beat the Hulk and your points are invalid as fuck. And yet the like to dislike ratio kind of defeats your argument. So please reevaluate your statement. You keep talking about the Hulk's pressure points. It's kind of a stretch the Hulk even has them. Captain America spotted them, Karnak spotted them, and even Iron Fist spotted them. Read the damn comics. And we have another one of those comments in which someone thinks the Hulk would kill Doomsday and all that bullshit. Even though Doomsday can't even die from physical blows and all the Hulk is known for is using his fists. And someone is stating that the Hulk's healing factor is unlimited when really it has its limits. You don't count Superman as OP? Now the way I see overpowered characters are the likes of Spectre and Dr. Manhattan in which could create universes and can do whatever the fuck they want. And Superman is nowhere near on that overpowered spectrum as Dr. Manhattan and the Spectre are omnipotent. Nobody can beat World Breaking Hulk! All this shit he's saying is lies 100%! Now listen here, you little shitbag! I'm sick to death of saying that this is about World Breaker Hulk, but really this is just normal Savage Hulk! Now this comment really baffles my mind as this guy claims that I'm a DC fanboy. Now if you really look at my channel and some of the videos that I post, majority of them are Marvel related. In fact, it's kind of a rarity that I ever talk about DC, even though I do try my hardest to go on both sides. Danko ripoff! Okay, okay, I'm sorry, L let me hear you out. Is Danko really the one responsible for all these versus videos? And doing countdown lists of the characters who could beat other characters? One, he's barely been around for a year, and two, I'm pretty sure that this has been a thing ever since YouTube as first came out. I thought that was pretty obvious that you were talking about normal Hulk too. As for The Flash, thank you, this video answers my question about The Flash. Why can't more comments like these exist? Straight to the point, kind and civil. Captain 2003 Rex, I salute you my friend. But we'll bigger Hulk this and we'll bigger Hulk that. Marvel fanboys need to relax a little bit. If someone thinks the Hulk would lose, it isn't the end of the world. Godsuki9, you are spot on my friend, spot on. I agree with everything on this list. I'm sorry, you did do a little bit of a typo there, but I appreciate the comment, man. Thank you very much, Daniel. Now, Mr. Elliot over here has suggested a series for me to do, which are versus videos. And although it'll be fun for me to do them and I'll write up my street, there's too many of these at this point. And at this point, pretty much all the matches are done and there's really not much for me to add. But you never know, maybe one day I'll change my mind. Wait. So you don't include Dr. Fate because he has powers that could beat the Hulk? Seems pretty biased. See, here's the thing. Dr. Fate has so many abilities that it's so hard to even list. He breaks the laws of physics and could do so many counters against the Hulk, it just becomes unfair. Batman actually did be Hulk, so fuck yourself off. One, that wasn't even a definitive 1v1 fight. And two, that is actually non-canon. As a matter of fact, this came from around the same time as when Superman could have all the powers in the universe. So to me, that fight is complete bullshit. But Batman is absurdly good at everything. He would kick the Hulk's ass. I hate to say it, but Batman would so beat the Hulk's ass and he's OP. Please refer to my last comment. But the comment at the very bottom baffles my mind. LOL, haters gonna hate, that's life. There ain't anything we can do. The Lord's Legion equals Die Hard Batman Hater. Since when did I say I hated Batman? Like, Batman is one of my favorite heroes of all time. I just think him against the Hulk is BS. And again, we have a long ass comment on why The Flash should be on the list. And again, I completely agree. It was my mistake on my part. And again, we jump back into that fight with Batman against the Hulk from that crossover fight. And despite how I said that it was poorly written and the fact that it was non-canon, 
he still claims that I'm delusional because it exists. When again, non-canon. Nice trigger work, sir. Oh my man, oh how I do try my very hardest. Most strongest. I think he's meant to say that the Hulk is the most strongest, but again, it's just a title, it means nothing. Go back to my point about the unstoppable Juggernaut. Just like how the Juggernaut has been beaten in the past, the Hulk isn't the strongest character in the Marvel Universe. Your attitude sucks. Gah! I have literally no idea what he is talking about. And he still hasn't replied to my question, I still want him to elaborate. Now this guy does not need any publicity, so I'm not even gonna give it to him. But he decides to say, oh you bitch, you said no guards, but Shazam is a guard. Even though I stated in my follow up video that I phrased this wrong and I meant characters who are omnipotent. And right after that he has the audacity to go, can I have a shout out? After calling me a bitch and asking for a shout out? No, fuck off. No upper limits to the Hulk's strength, N-O-N-E, NONE. And the same can be said for all the characters that I've listed on my video, you jackass! Now this kid is just... I don't even know. At first he bitches at me for not including Batman because of the hell Batsu could be Darkseid in which should be the Hulk. In which then he decides to talk about the number of subs that I have as well as my views and likes and dislikes. To which even then I have more subs, likes and videos than him combined. And then pointed out that how does that count as a victory for Batman when it's really more about the hell Batsuit. And then right when I had him beat he still goes, well, yeah, that kind of makes sense, but but Batman should still be on the list. Um, no. So that was pretty much all the comments that I got from both videos that I've picked. And yes, I know I was a bit brutal, but that's kind of the purpose of this video. Don't take it too personal if I attacked you or anything like that. This was just a joke. Just see it as a roast or banter or whatever you see fit. And despite how cancerous some of these comments really were, I still had quite a lot of fun making this video and I kinda wanna make more now. But if I have enough likes and that people want more of this, then I'll make it into a monthly series. So if you want me to make more of these videos, please give it a like and comment to, to show some support that you want me to make more of these videos. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Also, please subscribe if you like my content. Take care and have a good one.